It is a cold, dark night. Sitting at the very end of the universe is one man. He is a lonely man. He once believed that what he grew up knowing about his people's history was true. But at one point in his long life, this man found out everything he knew was a lie. His whole life changed forever. His name is not the Doctor. His name is the Master. The Master had lived a long, maniacal life. He believed his life was to cause chaos to create anarchy. He believed that this was the reason he existed. All this pain and suffering he caused people once brought him happiness, but now he could only remember select parts of his life. Hello, Master, a young female voice said from behind him as he felt a hand rest on his shoulder. He recognized the voice, but he couldn't place his hand on who it was. He turned around, seeing no one. He heard the voice repeat the same words, now coming from in front of him. He saw who it was. Josephine Grant. Joe, how are you here? The master asked the woman in front of him. You know I'm not Joe, the ghost said. I'm just your subconscious trying to make you feel anything, pain or regret. Anything to try and make you change your ways in your final moments. Leave me alone then, the master responded. I'm a very old man. I've lived for thousands of years. Just let me die. I can't. The voice changed to that of an older man, another voice he recognized. That of Brigadier Lethbridge Stewart. You? The master responded. Brigadier, you always were a stubborn man deep down, weren't you? As before, master, I am not the Brigadier. I am your own mind. Change your life before this universe destroys you with it, the voice said. Just let me die! The master screamed, swinging his cane through the visions. The vision of the Brigadier disappeared quickly before the cane would have hit it had it been real. The Master looked at his TARDIS, having sat in the same spot for multiple years. It had started to fade, being half visible. It would always be there. It was just something that happened. The Master remained and continued to sit down looking at the impending doom that was about to hit him. The Master was alone. And that was something he had been since the start of his life, and would like to be till the end. That would hit him very soon. His subconscious's attempt to make him feel regret and pain hadn't had any effect on him. Hello, Master, the voice said again, now with a more memorable voice for him. His own. Or rather, her own. He was now facing a former female incarnation of herself, who went by the name Missy. The Doctor had tried to change her and redeem her. That never had any lasting impact. After the Doctor regenerated, Missy regenerated into the Lumiat, who was a good soul and fighter, who sadly went crazy after finding out the truth of the timeless child. Missy had been quite an evil plotting incarnation of the man and was one of the Master's personal favourite incarnations. Missy was quite hobby, something none of his other incarnations seemed to master. Missy was the one chance he had ever had to be good, and his and Missy's former selves had ruined that chance when they shot her on the Mondazian colony ship. This unfortunate mistake sent the master from an almost chaosless life 
to a good life of peace into a downward spiral of events, culminating into where the Master was now. Quite a pickle you're in, isn't it? The Missy Vision said. What pickle? The Master asked. Die here at the end of the universe, no chance of survival, or leave in your TARDIS before it's too late. What are you going to do, Master? Asked the female incarnation before disappearing. The Master had spent his entire life terrorizing innocent people. The Master would never change. He would always end up evil, no matter how much he tried. He embraced this as the universe only had seconds to go. I will never change! He shouted as the end of the universe hit him. The Master had left his mark on the universe from the very start to the very end. The Master, as with everyone and everything that ever existed, was now gone.